this is one of those interesting situations in which when I have people in my life that have pain because we all experience pain at some point, I, I kind of get excited because I have a lot of tools here in the lab in which I can help people. So uh, my buddy Darren here, who's usually behind the camera, <laughs> um, he told me that he sustained some kind of injury or trauma to his knee. And so his, his knee has been giving him some problems. So what I did for, for a bit of time while I took a call, which, you know, we're maximizing our time, I put him on the Magneto Master, which is this PEMF-like device that is targeted and local. And he did about 30 minutes on that and was able to feel the, the tissue responding to the magnetic frequency that was being stimulating, uh, being stimulated and, and sort of pushed throughout his knee. And the idea there is to try to get some amount of circulation, but then we can use tools like this. So this is the recovery pin and um, it's called the skin flow and it comes in this nice little pack, pretty cool, but it's based around the idea of something that we've used for a long time, right? Uh, Eastern philosophies utilize acupressure and acupuncture. And although this is not acupuncture, this is a good mix between acupuncture and acupressure. So if you notice here, these pins, so you, when you get a set, it comes in two and uh, one is green and one is red and uh, the red one produces far infrared energy and the green one produces negative ions and so the two together create this magnetic field and the goal of that is to help circulation and so i always like to say that our body gives us responses of pain to sort of turn on the check engine light and then we can use certain tools like this to kind of increase that signal so that then the body can go in and heal it so i'm just gonna use this one i have these two pins together in this little silicon uh, wrapping so that i can cover a larger surface area and again the the little plastic bits right here keep it from actually puncturing the skin and, uh, and these are gold tips, which is a very, very powerful conductor. So we're gonna just place this on the knee. Now, I do have a PDF that goes over all the different placements in which you can use the five elements to kind of use the finger, certain parts of the hand, but also the knee directly. But for the sake of this, I'm just gonna go right onto the knee. So if you can show me where you're feeling pain, S sort of the like, inner medial aspect of the knee. And I like to kind of work above and below. And sometimes I work at the point of pain. So I'm gonna start just off the bat. I'm gonna do about 90 seconds of pressing this into the skin. And I've got very light pressure. And what ends up happening usually when I, especially when I do this on myself, I can give it a little bit more pressure. Um, and if there's a, a part that really is bothering you, then you kind of start to feel like this, this warming sort of tingling sensation happen around that, the, the points of the pins. And I kind of liken that to the, the, the biofield that's being, or the ma magnetic field that's being produced because of the, the different types of pins that we have here. So I'm just holding this here for a bit longer. We'll pretend like that that was 90 seconds. And not all places need to be 90 seconds. A lot of times you can just place it in certain parts of your body for about 30 seconds and then move on. But I do wanna make sure that the warming or slight burning sensation dissipates before I move on. Obviously I'm trying to be really mindful and keeping it level, but go ahead and hold it yourself and, and press it down so you can see if you can maybe add a little bit more pressure to it or if you need to do less, but you notice that it's not actually breaking the skin. Now we'll remove that and let's place it into a different section. And so there's no blood and there's no, nothing happening there. But since he's experiencing pain here in the sort of the, the, the inner middle part of the knee, I'm gonna go a little bit below it. So remember it's above and below or below and above. And so same thing, I'm gonna see if there's any kind of tissue here that feels sensitive. Feel anything that's, no, nothing crazy? It's like right on the edge of my kneecap. Here. Yep. All right, so we're gonna go just below that then. So we're gonna go right in here. <laughs> and as a, as a person that's 
helping him throughout this process. I'm looking to see if his if he's wincing, if his face is sort of uh, changing shapes, if I'm adding too much or not enough. And then if you want to go ahead and hold it yourself and kind of apply the pressure that you feel like is, is good for you. And when you can have a strategy like this that you can travel with and you can have on you when you're going throughout your day, it's a little bit easier to, to go through this protocol than it would be to try to get the magneto master or the pemf device that is a little bit more cumbersome to carry so i like to have this in my toolkit and you know this is something i would if i was in the pain that he was in then i would probably do this several times throughout the day for several days until the pain goes away so that's that now we'll hit this uh, the part that's kind of right on your spot of pain so we'll lightly take that off feel that and so now we're gonna go right in here, yeah? Okay. So there we go. See, that was that, that was that uh, wincing. That's where it hurts. So I'll let you go ahead and hold this. That's a good spot there. Put the pressure that you want and need on there. See if you can feel a change in temperature. A lot of times, when I do this, that, that buzzing sensation is also accompanied with a little bit of heat. A lot of people think of inflammation as being a bad thing, but it's a, an acute response usually. It's a, an acute response to tell the body that we need to send as many nutrients and blood flow to the area so that it can begin the healing process. So with a pen like this, what we're doing is we're just increasing that process and speeding it up. Speeding it up and making it a little bit more effective and efficient. I have this other thing I'll show you here in a second. That is a, um, it's a gua sha stone. It's a tetrahertz gua sha stone that we can also use. We'll use that here in a second. And to determine if the, the stone is actually a beneficial stone and it is actually rated in quality, you can hold an ice cube, put an ice cube on it and it starts to melt like right away because it's generating dissipating heat. Um, and that's the properties of the stone. And so when we can do that on the skin, again, it helps with the blood flow. So I tend to do the gua sha upward so that we're increasing this blood flow back to the heart. So these are my uh, gua sha stones. So I have two different ones, mostly because they are different shapes. So it's pretty cool. This is actually a stone, almost looks like a warped heart. <laughs> uh, but I like this because you can kind of get into different areas like you know in the fingers and the feet and then this bigger one i like for the body so it's curved in certain ways and you can also get into uh into the smaller areas but i'm gonna have you i'll have you do this and i'll show you how to do use it first and then you can use it yourself so again if we're working our way up then i'll go below above and then maybe hit some parts on it when we have tight anterior tibialis or shin splints, tight calves, front calves. This is a really good part to hit and also the peroneals on the outside of the calf. And then I'll also get the inside obviously, right? So I'm gonna to try to get as much circulation going upward as possible. So when I'm making sure, with my other hand, I'm making sure that I'm not scraping over his shin. So this is how this works. So I'm just gonna, here. It's like I'm shaving you, bro. <laughs> and so like this is perfectly situated for this. It's kind of nice. And so now I'll go a little bit above. Now we're gonna go around the knee. So I'm using this pointy bit to get in and around that knee just to kind of affect some of that tissue. This is the part that is a bit more sensitive and even though i'm not like pressing crazy hard do you see that blood flow this is and it's it's kind of stopping because of the compression of your of your pants but eventually when you when you um pull those back down to normal then you'll see that this blood flow will start to go where it's supposed to go and so this is where like compression boots or uh massage guns would kind of help to kind of encourage that but what i want to do real quick before i put this up is i want to do the ice cube test on it <laughs> oh, <what? laughs>
Look, right away, bro. You see? Yeah, cool. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Like, I mean, it's immediately started melting. <laughs> okay, so that one's good. Let's try the other one. New keep your eyes, you can see. It's new. Here we go. <laughs> it won't even stay on there. Look at that. It's like melting so fast. Isn't that crazy? Damn. That's one test to make sure that it is what it says it is. <laughs> now I put it on my arm and now it's like it's it's changing temperature. What's really cool about this is like once you get this to melt onto this stone, right? It happens in like seconds, right? Once you get it to melt on a stone, then I take this off and now this becomes like an ice pack. So it, it's really cold in seconds. And you can even see now that I'm putting it on my body, it's trans transferring that heat. So now it is like steaming a little bit, frosting. So yeah, this, this stone is very, very cool. Uh, I'll link to it in whatever video that I put out, but I'll link to this, but this is a really fascinating tool. So I keep them clean and I also keep them uh, in this nice little pouch so they don't break because it is a very fragile stone that looks beautiful. And so maybe I'll start getting more of these, but yeah, I used to use like bamboo and, and different like, like other stones, but this is now my new favorite. So there you go.